Tonight's presentation is under the baton of conductor, Dr. John V. Sinclair. <laughs> Dr. Sinclair is the conductor and artistic director of the Bach Festival Society of Winter Park. He is also the chair and John M. Tiedke, professor of music at Rollins College.
Please welcome to the stage the Voices of Liberty.
everyone, please welcome this evening's special guest narrator, Cheeto Rivera. everyone and welcome. I am so excited to be here with all of you and this beautiful orchestra and these wonderful voices. So I, I'll just get on with it. <laughs> I'm not sure if you know, but Walt Disney began the tradition of the candlelight processional at Disneyland over 60 years ago. Right now, Walt Disney World is celebrating 50 years of magic here in Florida. And in that time, literally millions of guests have enjoyed the Christmas story, the traditional carols, and especially the glorious music of the holiday season. To continue this marvelous heritage, I invite you to sit back and enjoy our magnificent orchestra and awesome singers. Now, let us begin. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin who was betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. Oh, 
pass, in those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. And all went, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. There were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior, who is Christ the Lord.
suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards all. The shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. See what I 
Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose in the east, and have come to worship him. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. <laughs> them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh.
when the wise men had come and gone, and the angels had flown off to spread the good news, a quiet settled over the stables in that little town of Bethlehem. Alone for the very first time, Mary and Joseph looked down at their beautiful baby, sleeping peacefully in the manger. All at once, the worry, the joy, the bewilderment, and the awe they felt for this tiny child washed over them. They felt the magnitude of what had just occurred and wondered what the future would bring for them. In the stillness of the evening, they watched as Jesus slept, listening for the soft sounds of his breath, for the rustle of hay in the night breeze, hearts swelling with the wonder of all he would become. Christ, the Prince of Peace himself, was a man, a human being, and he walked through this world in the most human way possible, with love. He didn't have much, but what he did have, he shared, and it became plenty. Food, water, shelter, care, he met the world around him with empathy saw hunger and shared the food from his plate, saw thirst and poured for them from his own cup, saw sickness and offered his time for their healing, soothed them with his human hands. Jesus Christ found it in his earthly heart to give of himself to the people who loved him, and even to the people who betrayed him, to all people, that a baby in a manger could grow 
to become a man who taught a world of people what it means to love one another. That's the spirit of this season. And it lives inside each and every one of us. The greatest joy of being human is to love one another. And when we share that love, that is the greatest gift of all. Thank you. 
I have sincerely enjoyed being here with you, and I hope you have enjoyed this candlelight procession. I hope so. It means so much to me to be here, and I'm so grateful that you all came, and I can share this with you. But before we go, we'd like to leave you this evening with one final wish. The holiday season means something different to everyone. Across languages and customs, we all have traditions that we hold dear. We pass them down and share them with one another at every opportunity, because ultimately, the message at the heart of all our celebrations is a simple one that stands the test of time. Peace, honor,